Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Casey and uh, today I'm going to be showing you what my husband and I are moving into. Isabel, you weren't supposed to come in here. You're supposed to lay on the couch right now. I guess you can lay in here if you want. Okay, so my husband and I are going tiny in a different kind of way. So instead of constructing a tiny house because we do not have time for that at this current moment, we have purchased a bumper pole trailer tiny home. It's a destination trailer. So um, maybe some people who like really want to live the high life when they go camping um, purchase something like this, but this is like a full small tiny house for us or a full tiny house. So we are buying a tiny house on wheels. I'm so pumped. It's going to be awesome. I always wanted a tiny house before I found my lovely husband. I wanted to build a tiny house, have my little miniature pincher that I have, Isabel, who's laying here on the floor. Good girl. And I wanted to have a large pincher, like a big Doberman pincher. And not because they're scary, but because I could have two cute pinchers and I love animals. Anyways, so I wanted that dream. I don't know if that's really gonna happen, but I have, now I have a husband. So that's, that's an extra plus that wasn't even included. Uh, I'm gonna have a tiny home, my sweet little dog, and then Hopefully another dog someday. Anyway, I had to empty my card. Noob mistake. Okay, so I'm back. Anyways, we have purchased a tiny home. I'm so excited. It is um, from Terrytown RV in Michigan. They actually will ship it. We can include a price of shipping and they themselves will have shipping services to bring it to us. So unfortunately, the coronavirus issue had had them shut down as everything around us shut down so it has been a long process in actually getting our tiny home and we still don't have it so i'm waiting patiently for the most part <laughs> anyways um because of the virus and everything shutting down there's no really really to there's nobody really to, to blame we just have to shut down and that's the nature of it and i have to wait for it to be done because people can't be there working so they can be healthy as well um anyways our tiny home is a um i have to try to say it correctly it is a salem grand villa by forest river it is a 42 dl that's its model um this is our game I'm so excited. Aren't you excited? This is our tiny home. Anyways, so um, this is 41 feet and eight inches long and it has two lofts. It is a two story. It's two stories. So that's really exciting and that doesn't even include the bedroom. So we have a master bedroom and two lofts and it can sleep up to seven people I believe is what they have it rated for. If you've got some teenagers that are bold that want to sleep on a theater seat couch you could fit another two so ours is going to be gray and white and black and eventually we'll decide whether we want to paint it do anything to it what do we want to do keep it the way it is it has three slides out three slide outs and the interior is super cute and awesome i mean i'm probably going to change it anyways because i'm a nerd and i like to change things i like to make them my own but it's cute so the first picture i have saved is of the is in the kitchen so it has this cute little island it has kind of a marble countertop it's got um, that pantry door you can see behind has kind of the window in it next to the TV and there's storage above the TV and um, a fireplace below. The kitchen has a cute little um, subway tile backsplash that has the like diagonals. It has a whirlpool refrigerator and microwave I believe. I believe they're both whirlpool. Um, it's full size residential which is pretty awesome. I don't even know if we need that much space because our refrigerator that we're currently using has less space than that. It has, let's see, one of those sink, what are they called? The little faucet, you can move it, like it comes out of its little container and you can move it around. Um, the, let's see what else we got in that general area. There's a cute little coffee nook where I'm gonna put uh, the coffee pot and our little coffee beans and all those good things because I love coffee, it's my heart. Then there is a three burner uh, stove, it's propane, so it, it's a, basically a gas stove, um, not electric top, which I love. I love my, love me some gas stove. And it has a small oven underneath, a decent amount of space compared to your typical camper or tiny home. And then it has a two bin uh, sink in that middle island. 
and it's two basins. It has a little rollout rack, so you can dry and put them on the rollout rack above the sink, which is pretty cool. There is LED lights that go under the fireplace, under the island, and in a couple different places in the kitchen. And you can turn those lights on so you can see where you're going at night walking around, or if you just want some sweet ambiance. The, let's see what else. There are two couches in the main area. So there's a couch that sits in a little window nook and it actually folds out into a RV size queen. So I don't think it's a full queen size, but it is um, a bed, an extra bed you can fold out. It, the You take the cushions off and then you can pull out the bed and then lay the back of the couch down to finish the bed off. And then next to it are the theater seats that recline. Um, to be honest, I'm really not a fan of this couch. Like, it's the one that sits directly in line with the TV. So when I'm watching a movie with my husband, there's this stupid block in the middle with cup holders and storage, which sucks in my opinion because I'm like, this is my husband. I married him because I like him. I would like to sit next to him or snuggle him or be close to him. And if I want to snuggle, I'm going to have to go to the other couch that's not in perfect way or not in perfect direct sight with the TV. First world problems. Anyways, I wouldn't I wouldn't have picked a couch with that stupid centerpiece in the middle. But if you're camping, maybe you want a place for your little drink and storing your remotes because when you're moving down the road, it's gonna keep them in place. I get it. But as someone is moving into it, I don't like it. Um, but the seats are nice. They're I believe they're a pleather. A material next to the theater seat couch is uh, a dining table. It has four chairs. It's a normal dining table instead of one of the nooks that are in typical campers. Um, the upside to a nook would be that it has storage underneath. The upside to this is it has um, more of an open feel. You don't feel so claustrophobic. I do believe the chair seats actually lift and have room for you to place a couple things in the chair seats, which is pretty awesome. Um, I think that's, let's see, what else about the kitchen? Has a relatively decent amount of storage. There's three overhead cabinets, um, four drawers on the side of the pullout, and then another cupboard, and then there's three cupboards that go underneath the sink area. So that's nice, it seems pretty decent. That doesn't include the little coffee nook, which has an additional two cupboards. Um, it has nice uh, lighting that's not just like a simple uh, little fluorescent light. It actually has these cute little things that come down and a nice little, I don't know if, if that would be an industrial style or what kind of style that would be, but a cute little light that's a little bit normal or a little bit abnormal for a typical like camper. And then there is a ceiling fan and I believe some of these actually have a large beam across the middle, like a pretty decorative beam. Because I have not actually seen the one we purchased in person, I'm not entirely sure if it has that beam or not. Okay, moving onward. Uh, above the refrigerator, you can see the loft. You can actually see into one of the lofts that has some bars and it can pull curtains so you have um, privacy at night and then you also have like openness and sunlight the rest of the time. So that loft, the loft I just spoke of, sees out over the kitchen and the dining area um, and the living area. It's super cute. It's quite tiny though to my knowledge. So it's more of a kid's nook, just a place you're gonna go to bed, you're not gonna really go hang out in it. And it has um, two little small storage compartments and a TV hookup area. So if you'd like to place a TV in this little nook, you can. And it comes with a little mattress inside of it. Then as you switch over to the other side, um, the second loft has a space for two, uh, I believe they're twin mattresses, two twin mattresses. And then there is some storage at the back and then a small wardrobe. So you have a place to put your clothes, put things. This is probably what my husband and I are gonna make like our kind of like a game hangout area. Um, obviously guests can sleep in when they come over. Um, we'll probably, we might put a TV up there and like play video games with friends or have them, like it could be a fun little nook for, I don't know, uh, Mario Smash Brothers, something like that. I like to play games. <laughs> and my husband plays all the more intense games. I like the silly ones like Mario Smash Bros and uh, Lego Star Wars, stuff like that. Um, let's see. It has two windows, a little area to put your drinks on in between the beds or a lamp, whatever you so desire. It's got some USB hookups. Then if we move down our stairs, you move down to the main floor again, there is a master bedroom and one bathroom. The master bedroom, has a lot of storage. It has kind of like a bay window type feel where it um, has like half octagon shaped or whatever that is, uh, window. 
and it's got a lot of light there's also a window directly if you're in bed facing this way there's a window on the other side and then there's a window by each person's head on either side there's little built-in nightstands um it's got a relatively decent amount of space there's one actual wardrobe and there's a second wardrobe that's actually uh it can be a closet or a washer dryer hookup so it's equipped to be uh, a washer dryer closet we currently won't have one of those um, until further down the road and so it's going to be my husband's closet and I'm going to have the uh, other closet next to it. They're both relatively small for people that are used to having full wardrobes. I had to downsize. He downsized too but his downsize was like way more human than mine. Anyways, so we have our two closets there. I got some space on the side. I'm pretty sure the space on the side uh, that's below the bay window is going to have to be my workspace because I really don't know where else to have a workspace. I can work on my table, I can demo with people, I can still do my products with people and consultations and stuff out on my dining table, but as to um, like editing using my computer, I'm probably gonna have to have that on that little bay spot in uh, the bedroom, which is not my favorite idea to have a like big honking computer in your bedroom, but what do you do? When you're in a tiny home, you kind of make things work. So. That may have to be my workspace or I'll stick it up in one of the lofts and find a way to like have a sitting desk <laughs> because I will not be standing up there. All right, let's see what else we got. The bathroom has a like a three door shower. So not three door, but it's like an accordion door that expands like this. It doesn't go back and forth, but it just expands. Um, goes long ways. How do I explain this? There's like three panels that stack when you push them one way and you pull them back out. So there's three panels and it's six foot four tall in the shower. And then there's a, um, a large square mirror subway tile type backslash. I doubt it's real subway tile considering it's a mobile um, unit. It's probably like a wallpaper of some sort or a stick on tile. And then there is area for your towels or basins below the sink. It's that ni nice dark wood finish that the rest of the area has. It has a little towel hanger above um, and a simple little toilet. I'm pretty sure the toilet is porcelain in nature. The lid is plastic, not porcelain. And the lid has a strange lip. I watched a review of Matt so-and-so and his wife, I believe. Um, and they they did a review in this camper. They walk in and they show you everything about it and the toilet had this strange lip. So like your average toilet doesn't have, it's just, it's a lid, it goes like this. This one had like a little lip around it to almost like close it off, like keep in the scent or something, I have no idea. And they really dislike that because when you sit in it, you feel that little lip around the back of the toilet. So I'll have to let you know how that works out, what that's like. Um, let's see. It's got this really pretty flooring you'll see in some of the pictures. I like the flooring. I like the um, the cabinetry it has modern handles. I like that. I like the black. Um, uh, the dark wood looks quite rich, but I don't entirely know if I'm really gonna keep it. Like, to be honest, I want a light feeling. I want it to feel light and airy. And even though there's tons of windows, so it might feel that way. I may not need to paint or do anything here um, because the windows might present the light that I need. But I've been like working on styling and stuff of thinking how I'm gonna make it a home. Am I gonna paint? Am I gonna do all these different things to it? A lot of uh, people that live in RVs will um, remove those weird, now I'm gonna forget what it's called. I wanna say sconce, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. Um, yeah, it's definitely not a sconce. They have these little like long rectangular things that go around the windows to hold the, um, blinds in and oftentimes they're kind of bulky and in the way and a lot of people that live in these RVs seem to take those off and paint around them and just hang curtains or just leave blinds so that may be one of the first fixes I make if I dislike it um it looks beautiful though like I'm not trying to complain this looks so pretty I'm excited it's gonna be brand new it's gonna have extra insulation for my husband and I because we live in Wyoming where it gets cold so we have had the whole thing extra insulated. The windows will be double pane windows. Um, it'll have hookups for everything we need. We'll get a propane tank to run most of our stuff. It has a air conditioning system in it. There's birds chirping, excuse me. Um, they're actually on a video. 
I turned the video on um, out in the other room and it's just still playing and it's got sounds of birds going. Anyways, um, so that's our tiny home right now. I'm super uber excited to get it and show you guys what it's like inside and I'll do a video where we go through it and we, I mean like show life through it. I'll have a lot more tiny home vlogs telling you guys what it's like to live in a tiny house. The amount that I have decluttered is ridiculous. I mean, so much. And like none of our furniture can go into it either because it's so compact and has built-in furniture. So we will be putting a lot of furniture into storage and a couple things into storage. Like there's no way to put Christmas deck. What was that? There's no way to put Christmas decorations in it. Um, any of those other things. So those are the things that are going into storage and I'll have to go get them when I need them. Um, but it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a fun adventure. Downsizing, doing the Marie Kondo, keep it only because it gives you joy. Obviously, I have a box full of important papers that do not give me joy, but I have to keep them. Anyways, um, it's going to be a fun way, new, new way of life. I am a person that is always busy and I'm always doing a thousand things and I run a million miles a minute. So having less to deal with around me helps me uh, be more intentional and slow down and so I'm excited to be uh, in almost a simpler environment like my house is really tiny which means it could get dirty fa fast but it also be quick to clean um, I have less stuff to deal with so I have less to maintain um, it's gonna be a really fun experience I've said um, so many times anyways that's my moving into a tiny house update I will show you guys when we actually get it I'll like right when it comes outside I'll record I'll be like oh my gosh here's my house and I'll show you guys I'll take it in we'll do a dry run go in there I'll show you what it's like the first morning waking up in the tiny home and where we put it out on the farm and uh, it's gonna be really exciting so if you look forward to seeing that make sure to like and subscribe and come back and hang out with me It'd be great to have you in my little family. I do lots of videos about beauty and skincare and cosmetics and decluttering and now I'm gonna have tiny house videos. And I also wanna do a lot of videos that help like the average girl learn how to be super independent. Like, I mean, I know things, I don't look like I know things about cars, but I do. So if you want some help, I'll teach you how to change your oil, change your tires, simple things like there's no such thing as blinker fluid. Let me help you out there. So things like that, practical things to further your life, help you be confident, to be strong, and to love being exactly who you are. So that's what I'm about here on my channel. Make sure to read the description below for all my links and follow me on every page so we can hang out. And yeah, make sure to leave a comment. Uh, tell me how you're doing in this lovely quarantine time. And yeah, your favorite coffee drink or something like that. Okay, I had a five-hour energy. You can tell because I'm so excited right now. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to shut up. I love you guys. Bye.